Hello everyone, this is Anut from Gadget Keg. Just before the new year, Xiaomi announced the Android Oreo for the Mi A1. And today we will show you how to install it if you haven't received the update yet and some new features about this update. So let's start. On December 31st, Xiaomi announced on their Twitter handle that they are rolling out the Android Oreo update for Mi A1. We have also informed you guys on our website about the update and by the way you can also check our website www.gadgetgeek.com for latest news and videos from Gadget Geek. Now talking about the update, for some reason the device which we have is not getting the update right now. We know Xiaomi was rolling out the update in batches and if you haven't received the update yet then you can also try clearing the cache of the Google framework service and then restart your phone and if it works you'll have the OTA update. So here we have the update and the size of the update is approximately 1.1 GB and it doesn't say anything about the Oreo but a December security update. So if you get this then this is the Oreo update. Let's install the update now. So the update is installed on our phone and let's see what are the new features we have here. First let's go to settings and you can see the Android Oreo 8.0 with the December security patch. And here is the Android Oreo logo. Talking about the new feature, first thing you will notice is the notification panel. It has a new white look and has a lighter shade. The mobile data icon is also changed a little bit. The next change we have here is the night light. With this turned on, your screen turns amber making it easier to read and look at your phone in dim light. It's definitely a good feature in my opinion which I'm already using on iPhones and Samsung devices. Talking about the next feature, it's the dot notification. Like we have seen in the Oreo update for Pixel, we now have the dot notification badges. Now you can also snooze notification for up to 2 hours and you need to swipe on the notification and select the snooze time period. Opening app drawer is much easier now and you can swipe up anywhere on the screen to open the app drawer. We also have the picture in picture mode available which works with just few applications right now such as VLC player, Google Maps and YouTube with only red subscription. And here is how Google Maps look in the picture in picture mode and also the video with the VLC player. The setting interface is also changed a little bit and it looks much more cleaner now. We also have a new battery interface and it shows more information about battery usage and also gives you the option to turn on battery saver and adaptive brightness. So overall you will notice some minor UI changes here and there and most of these changes are under the hood and performance upgrades. In terms of performance we have done a benchmark test and here is a score with the Antutu benchmark which is slightly higher than the benchmark score we got with the Nougat. And then here is a Geekbench score, which is also slightly higher than the score we got in Nougat. Xiaomi also announced that the Android Oreo will bring the fast charging with the Oreo update, but during our testing we did not notice any big change. We have also heard from the people complaining about the update that it's slowing down the phone and some users also said that after the update they are noticing stutter and lags randomly. Let us know in the comment section if you have the Mi A1 and you are facing the same issue on your phone. So let's talk about whether you should update your phone to Android Oreo or not. We would say that the Xiaomi Mi A1 is the first phone in this price segment to get the Android Oreo update. Overall it's performing good on our phone and we are happy to have the Oreo on our phone. So what do you think about the Android Oreo update? Let us know in the comment section below. And if you like this video, please press the like button and subscribe to our channel Gadget Geek for more videos like this. Once again this is Anuj signing off and I'll see you in the next one.